What's going on everybody, Razorblade here, and today is going to be a pretty fun video to make, probably one of my best videos, or not really best videos, but just most fun to make probably, because this is going to be very poorly edited, because I need to get this out quickly, and that's probably not going to happen, but I'm going to try, um, but basically in this video is going to be a part two from last video, kinda, uh, because last video I made a hamster cage DIY, uh, and it met up to all of the size standards, like it was the perfect size for a hamster. Um, so, today, I basically just got the hamster. I got all the stuff and I decorated the inside, the interior of the cage. Which means that you are about ready to see a hamster, you're about ready to see the wheel and all the stuff that they need and stuff like that. So, without further ado, here it is. Okay, guys, so we just got back from the pet store, and we have this here bedding, and I got another one right there, just in case it's not enough, so I'm just going to put it inside of the hamster cage, and the recommended amount is normally uh, the least about six inches, five inches maybe, so uh, hopefully we can uh, get up to that standard, so let's just see. It's just a big old brick in there. Okay guys, so it's not 100% done because there's still going to be toys that will come in the mail. But I was working kind of hard on it as you could see by my floor is kind of messy. I'm going to have a lot of cleaning to do, but here is the cage. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour right now. Also, the lid's not on it. It's not going to be like this. Obviously, the hamster would be able to escape because of right there. But, so right here, we have a 9-inch silent wheel. So as you can see, almost no noise at all. We have a little hideout here. Again, the most hideouts, the better. And we have the food, the water, and then this rock, which I did properly sanitize. And then, right here, is this thingy, my bobber, just for decoration. Also, I put in a toilet paper roll because they really like to go through it, and I'm pretty sure that they also chew on it and stuff. Here's a little wood chew, and of course there is going to be the, well, the toys that I was talking about that's coming in the mail uh, are a bunch of wooden toys that I'll put in here. Then right here is this little hideout thing where you could see through here, so it'd be kind of cool to have the hamster, you know, laying in there. Here, we have the, uh, another hideout, which you can't really see because he has to dig in the bedding to get in it. Then there's this little thing that comes over here on top of this hideout, which he's sleeping in right now. And then there is this area right here, and that, this is my favorite hideout, and then on top of it, it's that. That's why I put the ladder, or the bridge, on there. I kind of ruined that. I'm going to fix that. Um, so then he could go inside of there. And then, of course, I just put this little thing. Just kind of a little extra. Then here is a toilet, because I had no idea until a couple of days ago that you can actually potty train your hamsters to go in there. And I put some rep... This is reptile sand, okay? Get reptile sand. It is the best sand for your hamster. Then right here, we have the sand bath. Um, basically, since you cannot put hamsters in water, just a pro tip for you, if you are thinking about getting a hamster, I swear to God, never put it in water. That is horrible for your hamster. So, sand is an alternative for water. Basically, um, if it ever feels like it needs to take a bath, it just goes in the sand and it kind of takes a bath, and you know, it's just, it just gets rid of all the oils and stuff, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the cage tour, um, also, the toilet, let me see if I can find it, the toilet came with this little scooper thing, so it's much easier to clean out this cage, then I won't have to take out all the bedding, if I could just somehow potty train him, which will be hard right now, because he's, you know, 
kind of young, but, uh, yeah, once I'm able to potty train him, I'll try to do that, and then I'll just clean it like this, and I'll barely ever have to clean this whole entire cage. Um, and in a couple of days, I, like I said, these new toys will be coming in. I'm gonna put them all in here. I might get rid of some stuff just for extra room. But yeah, right now I think that this is pretty good. I might upgrade the cage uh, some other time when the hamster gets bigger and stuff. But I think that's a really cool cage. And not to toot my own horn, but I think I did amazing. Well, not amazing. I'm, not, I'm never going to say that. Uh, I think I did really well on this cage. And that is not the end of this episode because I'm going to show my hamster. I'm going to reveal his name and the extra toys that are coming in in a couple of days. See you then. Alright guys, so I gotta be uploading this video and within, like, hopefully tomorrow, I'm not sure. But if not, um, I don't know, It's it's gotta be soon. So, I'm gonna go ahead and reveal you, uh, his name. His name is Pablo. Alright, so I thought that was a pretty cool name, honestly. Uh, has nothing to do with the way he looks. It has nothing to do with anything like that. Like how the last one was Oreo, because he was black and white. But no, this one's Pablo, because I felt like it, and I thought that the name, I just really like the name. I don't know why. Pablo is a cool, kind of funny, I don't know. It's it's just, I think it was a good name, so I named him Pablo, so there is the name reveal right there. Okay, so we got some new toys. Um, first, we have this thing that he'll chew on. All of these are chew toys, by the way. We have this thing that has a bell inside this ladder that came with it so we can get on top of here these little wood shoes right there that are painted green and blue there's this thing held together by like this little rope wooden blocks and then there is a teeter-totter right here that he can walk on and I have seen him walking on this quite a few times to get his food then there's this thing it just kind of rolls around as you can see so, it's that. There's this thing. This has a bell in it. Except it's way smaller. And then here's this thing. It looks like a barbell, but obviously he can't use it as that. So he just chews on it. Sometimes I catch him chewing on the sides. Um, and right now he's sleeping, so I can't really show him right now. But, um, yeah, that those are some of his new toys. So I was editing this video because I knew it had to get up online by tomorrow and i realized i didn't have a montage so um here it is
guys. So right now he's just sitting on my bed and he's kind of tired so he's not moving as much. But I went to an appointment in Manhattan today and I stopped by at Petco and got these seeds with... They are basically just uh, sunflower, pumpkin, squash, cantaloupe, and watermelon seeds. They're good for hamsters, and they're also good for people, surprisingly. But um, as you can see, he loves them. Well, right now, I don't think he's eating them. I think he's stuffing them in his cheeks for later, because I did just now wake him up. So I also got this new toy. It kind of comes with three. Hold on. This is a very bad camera angle, and I do apologize. There's this, which he hasn't tried out yet. There's a medium, which I'm kind of worried because he might not be able to fit in there. And then we have this small one. Uh, it's like a little puzzle thing that he gets to go through. I don't know. Maybe he'll like it, but I just got it for him because I knew it would fit perfectly in his cage. So, right now he's just chilling on my bed. He might be a little bit confused because he isn't on my bed like this a lot. Wow. As I was recording this, he pees. That's just, that's wonderful. He's, he just peed on my bed and now he's enjoying the new toy that I got him. That's at least, at least he's happy. He's happy, I'm happy. I need to figure out how to wash that off. So, um, yeah, we're doing that. Wow, he actually really likes that. <laughs> that's actually, okay, that's, that's cute. I can't be mad at him about the pee anymore because that's actually, oh my god, he loves it. Okay, alright, I need time with him. Oh my god. No way. Wow. And that's gonna be it for you today, you guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this one, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and comment in the section below. Uh, also, I am going to be making reaction videos to utility mods is, uh, YTPs of me, and they're pretty funny. Uh, I don't know, I might make either one reacting to all of them, that would be a long video though, or I make two, just like how I did here, and split them up so I don't have, like, this huge, gigantic video. Um, aside from that, I will po probably be making an Among Us series, because I've been really into that game, and it looks pretty interesting, and I want to try it out for myself. I know it's kind of late to be saying that, but that's what's gonna happen. Also, I know that you've seen my merch... In past, in past videos, you've seen my hoodie, and you have seen my mug, but um, I gotta show it one more time. I think it's pretty good, to be honest with you. It's pretty high quality. Not really, though, but buy it anyway, because it'll make me happy if you really do love me. Also, on the back of my gaming chair, I don't know if you could see, but it has a razor blade sticker on it, way smaller than I thought, because it said it was gonna be 7 by 7 inches, but it's only 1 by 1 inches, and it kinda made me mad, but that's okay. And that's it. Bye.